we're back and we're working on Morticia. The last couple of weeks have been a little crazy. Went on vacation, did a bunch of stuff. And um, now we're back to getting Morticia driving. Today we're gonna mess with the fuel pressure regulator. I'm gonna try and take all your guys' advice and hopefully we'll get her going. So boom. Now I think the fuel pressure regulator needs to be turned up probably. And then also I'm gonna look at making sure I had the switch on long enough. So we might take the top off again too of the carburetor. So huge thank you to Dr. Sosa, Mr. Silverback Garage, um, because he provided this fuel regulator for us. And right now it looks like one's there and it goes up to, well, I can't tell what it goes up to. But I think we might have it on the highest setting. So let's try and see. I'm gonna put the switch on, give it a chance to fill it up, and then make sure it's filling it up all the way. The one thing I'm wondering is maybe we don't even need this, and maybe it was just our float being the right adjustment was the issue. Also, we need to fix this piece right here. It actually has two pieces here. So one thing I messed up, which could have been part of the problem, is this is supposed to sit there. See how there's that little line there? There's supposed to be another one of these there, and it's supposed to keep it like that. So we're gonna fix that too. Luckily, I do have one of these, which will look like it'll work perfect. I may have spoke too soon. I think this is gonna be a little too small, yeah. Might have another option though. Well, it's not as pretty, but I think this will do the job. We just gotta sneak it in there but I am gonna need two hands for this. All right, so that was a little bit of a pain, but just cause I didn't have the right clip, but I got the clip under there. This is now secure. This is for the dash pot. No idea, but I think it does affect the fuel air ratio. So it probably makes a difference. I'm gonna flip the switch and see, let it fill up for a second and we'll give it another try. Of course, we gotta hook up the battery too. And now, we're gonna go and turn on our switch. All right, so now turn on the switch. There we go. I'm gonna try without taking the lid off just for convenience sake. First, while that's filling up, let's go in the cab. And really, I shouldn't have to turn the switch off, so I'm gonna leave the switch on while we're trying, unless it starts looking like it's flooding. Well, that's good. Got some smoke going, but um. Everything seems to be idle way too high. So I'm gonna go and adjust it down. But that's awesome. I mean, it sounds like it's filling up the float bowl now. Um, this is all really positive. This is great. Let's adjust the carb a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna adjust the idle. And... Let's try that. Let's see if that helps.
Nur Pur. I think we're in a much better place. I just is just in that back idle screw right here. So this screw that's right in the bottom there. This is still leaking. I've got it tightened really as much as it's gonna go, so we might have to maybe throw something there to fix that, but wow check it out she's sounding awesome and she's not stalling out either hey hold on definitely has some tuning that we still need to do but she's running awesome so awesome Wow, she's running great, actually. So um, let's fix that fuel leak. That got to fix. Maybe we'll just throw a second zip tie on, or not zip tie, uh, hose clamp on there for now. Well, I can't believe how much better she's doing. I mean, I'm almost tempted to drive her down to Sosa's, but I don't know. You know what I'll probably do? I'll fix a fuel leak maybe let her run for a little bit. There's still a lot that I wanna get feeling better about before I start driving her. Um, just because, I mean, we got her idling, but still a little bit of work that needs to be done. But this is great. I mean, it's honestly great. This has been a huge challenge, so this is a huge step forward. Boom. Well, I think part of my issue is I had it butted up against here a lot. Now it's flared out. That probably can't help. So I'm gonna cut this piece off and double it up. That should do it for now. I mean, we'll make this cleaner at some point, but at least to stop the leak. I think part of my problem, I think this fuel line is too big right here. It seems to be okay on that side, but you can see daylight in the little space there i do have the slightly smaller i think this is slightly smaller fuel line yeah i think so uh sure we're gonna try this just put a new piece see if that helps because this seems to be kind of bulging at the seams <laughs> got a good uh good setup here now the better fuel line this is a much better fuel line and um let's see if we got any leaks so i'm going to turn on the pump now all right looks like no leaks let's start oh, there's a leak oh man this was driving me nuts so uh you can see it's still leaking and so I kept messing with this, tightening up this. It's actually leaking on the fuel pressure regulator side where this copper joins up. So, like it's in there, not the wire or the tube. I think what I'm gonna do, I have this max all the way and I'm starting to suspect our real issue was the float. I'm gonna take this off run the wire or the um, line right to it because I don't have a choice. And if it continues to over flood here, then I'll get a new pressure regulator. Um, but this is maxed open all the way. I don't think that pumps that strong. I think this was the root cause there. So let's do that. Really cracks me up though, because I kept thinking I was crazy. Like, why can't I stop this thing from leaking? Turns out, I wasn't crazy. So that's good. The biggest goal was getting her running. And we've done that, so I am happy. Happy, happy. Now we can start doing all the little 
minor things. Well, not too bad. Well, this has been an interesting series of events. But anyway, so put the regular line, it's a tight squeeze, and this is actually fuel injection line, so it's definitely thicker. But I think we should be good leak-wise. So let's test it out. Let's test it out. And I'm really hoping there's no leak because that's enough of the leaking. Flip our switch. And let's see. Wonderful. No more leaks. Oh, I need to tighten up that piece too, but okay, good. Well, so far this is all really awesome. Now let's give her another start and we'll see if we can get her tuned up so she's idling a little smoother. We have a uh, rattle, so, something in our, something in there is rattling. So we gotta fix that. It's probably our fuel line actually. Actually, no, I don't know. But, I got my screwdriver. Still sounds a little high. Let me take this down a little. There we go. Wow. How's that for running smooth? Holy. Just rush this a little. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is like reverse. The screw. Okay. Wow, I think we got her. All right. Dang, I think we did good. Although we don't have any cooling, so I'm gonna turn her off. Wow, what a huge, huge win. I mean, I just can't believe it. This is seriously awesome. I mean, we've got her idling so well. Now, I don't know what's in that fender rattling around. Probably something really easy, but we're gonna have to go in there, fix whatever's rattling in that fender. And now we gotta figure out our alternator situation. We need a new water pump, probably, but primarily our alternator situation. So we'll probably have to make a new bracket. That's what's gonna be next. Um, so we can actually drive Morticia 
and wow, I'm just, I'm so happy with the progress we made today. So, cause it's been a bit of a drag as you guys know. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support, all the helpful advice really means a lot and lots of great content on the way. Boom, baby. Thank you.